Hello, this is Jorge Pedret, and this is another episode of Upgrading Your Team's Culture. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about the culture of learning. When when we are when we start learning in in our in our in our human life in this life we most of us we went to school, and we start learning in these topics from a teacher. There is a teacher, and the teacher is giving us the information, and and the teacher is telling us this is math, this is science, this is uh, li literature, this is history, and. And this is how we start forming this thing inside of us that kind of like creates the, the learning. This is how we learn that, that there is like this information that gets put inside of us. And inside, inside of these things that we are taught, we are taught of this concept of right and wrong. We get graded at school, we uh, get put on the, this knowledge about like, for example, history, and then we are, we are graded like, and then inside of this grading, uh, there is uh, generally a test. We get to either be right or be wrong. We get to answer the right answer or answer the, the, wrong, the wrong answer. And immediately this creates this dynamic inside of us of, uh, of punishment. Like, and this gets repeated over and over and over and over for a year, two years, three years, five years, 15 years that we are in school, for example. And then after that, we carry on to university where it's like pretty much the, the same. The teacher gives us uh, information uh, and, we, uh, and then we get graded on it. And we either get to be right or be wrong or pass the test or not pass the test. And <clears throat> And this kind of creates a, a wall inside of our, our learning. Um, uh, and and it, it's a wall that it's like, if we don't have, if you don't have the categories where you're gonna put certain information, then like you have no place to put it. So the learning goes uh, away. And um, what I mean to say with this is that when you have a, an experience that doesn't fit inside of any of these uh, boxes that you already have the, that the teacher has given you or that you have created in this in this form. For example, if there is something wrong, there, there is an answer that, it, that you have said uh, that is wrong, then it, it doesn't have any any place any place where it can fit. So with this concept of right and wrong, we start little by little, start identifying that wrong is bad. Being wrong is bad. And being right is the good thing. That's what we want. We want to be right. And this is a programming that gets put inside of us over and over and over. And it carries on to our adult lives and it becomes this normal thing. And, and we start measuring the world inside of these two things of right and wrong, things are right or wrong, right or wrong, good or bad. So then we get taught in, the, in school, we have these debates and we have these uh, things like discussion where we are like having like my ideas versus your ideas and either like we're gonna see who wins we're gonna see who is the winner and who's gonna get the right answer, who's gonna be right at the end. Like, finally, I'm gonna be to be right. And then you go into these uh, debates or discussion spaces where it's just like saying what I know and the other person says what they know and then what I know and then what they know. And then at the end, like somebody tells like, oh, he's right or he's wrong. And this is the, the normal thing that, that we know inside of uh, learning. And the problem with this is that it, it creates a wall inside of our learning. It caps our learning. It really slows down the learning from truly happening because it creates a wall in our being uh, of what we know. And then like anything outside of that to go like any any step outside of that is like, mm, like no, I don't want to go there. And, and it creates this, this uh, space where it's like a wall that you can't cross uh, consciously because crossing it, it, it will mean to be wrong. So 
it block it creates this block inside of our learning all of a sudden we can't go to a certain space because we it's wrong and this for example it can happen with anger anger a lot of people think like we have been taught and programmed that anger is bad and that anger is wrong because it's violent because it, it destroys because it's uncivilized and uh, and so what, as, as soon as I feel anger or like I have this sensation of anger, I, I say like, I can't go there. That's anger. That's bad. That's wrong. So I pull back and and I don't allow like, yeah, like there is nothing that goes out there. So the, the learning stops there. Anger is bad. Anger is wrong. So we don't go there. And this is a, a big problem inside of learning. Uh, and it really is something so primitive. It's like thinking that, that that we know everything thinking that that you know everything and then you don't leave any space for what you don't know that you don't know so th here is when it comes this this spaces of transitioning transitioning upgrading your culture of your team to a space of where learning can really be a space of like uh, expansive and not inside of these boxes and like I'm right you're right and then how do I feed my knowledge with your knowledge and and is there a space of discovery when you enter into a space of discovery all of a sudden the the this debate between right and wrong it, it, it gets removed it's a space of discovery and really it's a space of where I can bring in my ideas where I'm at what I've experienced and the other person can bring their ideas, their experience, their edge, what's their research, what have they been finding, and, and it, they can coexist together. It's like continents of knowledge that it, each one has it, its own space to be without this idea of being a right or wrong, or this is the, the best and this is the worst, or this is good and this is bad. And it's like really this space of, of expansiveness where we're not in competition with each other. I'm not competing with you to be right or or I'm not wanting you to be wrong or thinking that you should be wrong. Uh, but it's like this space of, of really like expansive, like this is my experience. And this is what I've been discovering in my journey. So there is a transition in your team where you can bring that a space of discussion where, where the people, uh, where two people or two groups are like bringing in the, their ideas. And this is like my box and your box and my box is better than your box and, and, and my box is right or your box is wrong. And to, to transition from that space, recognize that space uh, energetically and, and like, tr like move it into a space of discovery where there is expansiveness, where your being is expanding and your team is also expanding uh, for creating this space of discovery without this uh, necessity or this like, unconscious need to to be right that it's so ingrained in our being this need to be right there is a lot of emotions uh, from this from being wrong in school or from the fear of being wrong over and over and and it's actually very very big and alive in the world and so this is a big uh, way to transition into uh, a space of expansiveness where it's not like we can share each other and we can hear each other, but that there is space for each other to, to grow. And this will be like a way of like coming out of your wall, out of the wall of what you already know, out into the world and you can get in touch with reality. Instead of like staying inside of your walls, trying to like make your wall bigger, a little bit bigger. And in this competition and scarcity for space, and scarcity for knowledge and wanting to hoard knowledge that this is my knowledge and this is your knowledge but that is like it's expansive and going into that space it can be really awesome for your team so good luck with this and whenever you find yourself like wanting to create a, a debate space uh, a space of discussion where it's like this person's idea versus this person's idea bring it into a discovery space to create that really like that space of expansiveness and more like relaxedness and, and excitement. It's actually like, I'm excited to, to share what I've been discovering and, and I'm not have this unconscious purpose of being right. So thank you for watching and until the next time, bye.